hello. Because I've seen so many videos of people posting about pomades online and I've had personally, I've had a difficult time trying to figure out what works for my hair because it's so thick. And I mean, right now it's kind of hard to tell because uh, I have so much buildup. Uh, from the past couple of days, I've used gel, I used all sorts of types of shit, and none of it really did much for me until I found Suavecito Firm Hold. Once I found Suavecito Firm Hold, I don't have a jar right now, um, it stuck with me. I used it for quite a while because it just did really good with my hair. It, it kept it down. It wasn't the best stuff in the world, and the stuff I hated most about it was the whole idea that I have to sit there and wash it out at the end of every single night. Long story short, come across this, actually. I meant to order this, is what happened. I wanted to order this online. Royal Crown Pomade, because I heard it was good, good shit. Um, which it is, it's great. But I meant to order this, and I accidentally ordered this hairdressing by Royal Crown. Uh, kind of a uh, blessing in disguise, I guess you could say, because this shit is the motherfucking shit, and this is just the shit, okay? Um, so I usually put the hairdressing, I'm going to work it through my hair, I guess let's start. Nice little glob, whatever you want to call it. Mixes awesome into the hands compared to a lot of the other fucking garbage I've used. Now, again, it feels a little weird just because I already have so much shit in my fucking hair. It's unbelievable. But you'll get the picture. Okay. Now, because I have so much buildup uh, from the past couple of days, I don't even think I need a whole lot more than what I got in. Let's see. Wash my hands off real quick. Okay. Um, not the best comb in the world. Don't use this comb. It sucks. These bristles, they like just bend so easily. And it sucks. It does get the job done. So don't listen to me. Okay, let me turn this way. See if we can get some of this comb in action. Um... You see, it's weird because I get discouraged a lot when I do my hair around this stage. Uh, I get discouraged and I look at it and I think, what the fuck? How do I always do my hair? Why does it look so bad right now? Um, but I have learned if you just stick with it, just keep adding a little bit more. Or even wash a little out if you got a little fucking trigger happy with her. Uh, just wash it the fuck out. Okay, now the cool thing that I like to do, uh, it's pretty cool, um, but this shit, if you use it alone, it's a fucking nightmare. Let me get the top off. It's a nightmare. It's got the consistency of fucking, like, petrified fucking peanut butter. I don't know. Um, it's just a pain in the fucking ass to distribute. So it's cool because I use this dressing to keep all this thick garbage down. <laughs> and then I use the Murray's, Murray's, uh, Superior Hairdressing Pomade. Uh, again, it is the biggest pain in the fucking ass to deal with in the world. And anybody on YouTube will tell you that. I even put a lot on there. Look at look at the consistency. It's like it just stays together no matter what you do with it. Um, it doesn't mix very well in your fucking hands. Uh, but it's great for keeping those fucking sides down, bro. And I'll even put a little splash up top just for fucking fun, bro. Just for fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, again, it looks bizarre right now. Work with me here for a second. Also, go to the beginning of the fucking video and look what it looked like 
couple minutes ago. I mean, even this right here, not that this looks very good, but even this look right here is about 450,000 times better than what I was rocking a minute ago, I think. And one last note, uh, because this video is probably not going to catch the official final look in the sense that in about, I don't know, I'd say 10, 20 minutes, this is all going to stiffen right up. And then when it does, I can run this through it again and it'll just give the best lines you've ever seen in your entire life. Again, because of my insane buildup I've had going on here, I don't think I'm going to get the best haircut I've ever, or best whatever hair, looking hair I've ever had. Uh, but man, that's got some shine. At least on the video it does. In the mirror, it's not too crazy. And then I just like, I bring it to that side. I always brought it to that side before because I have a gnarly scar right here. You can kind of see it through that. Um, however, uh, yeah, pretty much. That's my thoughts on that. That pretty much wraps that up. And then we're kind of going for this type of look right now. Woo! Uh, not terrible. Not my best work. Again, I've seen a lot of frilly little hairs that I, I'm not super concerned with at the moment. Because when you just look at me straight on, you can't really see it. On the camera, like as I look up, I can see every fucking one. But that's my morning routine of putting my hair stuff in in 2020 once I found legit pomades. Uh, and then the just one last note. Suavecito, you're popular and all, but 15 bucks for a little thing of pomade? Come on. This all together, I think, was $5 for both of these. Okay? And I've got the fucking best shine this side of the fucking Mississippi. I, uh, again, not my best work, but, uh, oh yeah, one last thing that I always do. Because I like the way it looks. Boo! Boo! We'll get that all in there. I just like, uh, I just kind of like the way that looks, bro. Uh, the sides. But yeah, there we go.